What do you find most intellectually stimulating in your work as a design researcher? I think there, there are three things, and they come at various points in the process, in the design research process as I practice it. The first is figuring out how I'm going to answer the questions that I have or that my client has, that we're, the reason that we're doing the design research, how we're going to get those answers, what methods we're going to use, what questions we're going to ask, who we're going to talk to. Um, that in itself is a design process. It's very iterative um, and it's really tricky and you have to organize things and word things. Um, so I find, I find that really challenging and then actually um, facilitating those things. You know, everybody's different. Some people take a long time to open up. Um, some people, if we do exercises, have a harder time. You know, you have to explain things differently. It's very similar to teaching, but it's, you know, you're trying to get out instead of give. So that's really challenging, just day to day doing fielding, doing interviews. Um, and trying to get the responses, not that I want, but trying to get the responses, get the people to feel comfortable giving me the responses they need to give me. Um, and then finally, it's always challenging to figure out the most appropriate way to translate that into a design solution, considering you know, all of, the, all of the, the things that I've learned from the people about how this thing should or ought to act or behave, and then business considerations, political considerations of the design team. So mixing all of these different things into a solution and not trying to muddy any of the waters mm -hmm. is, is always a challenge.